Hello and welcome to episode 21 of our Austria Alpha 5 Let's Play. It is November of 1764. We have 956 people in our town. And last time around, we built all sorts of stuff up here, including a second trading outpost and a little bit of transportation logistics, some storage, and another brewery and a distillery so we can increase our alcohol production partly for export and partly to sustain our town because now, hey, look at all of this. It's not as big physically as my last town was when we got to a thousand people, but it is a lot better. I like to think at least. So today's episode, we're going to continue building out this area a little bit, uh, put in some sort of a little park type thing over here, some other uh, wells and things that our citizens up here might need. And uh, depending on how the rest of this goes, we might even get over a thousand population today. We'll see but it's going to take a little bit of time to get all that stuff taken care of. So we'll have to make sure we're diligent about keeping the uh, building queue full over here. So we have a big hay barrack, but there's no hay stored here because the closest hay dryers are all the way on the other side of the map over here. And they're full. We just don't have anyone to uh, take the stuff off of them quite yet. So we'll need to get some more laborers going and make sure that we have supplied adequately for the wagon sheds before the horses get here. Seems like this is pretty much fully stocked, so we should be all right. Trading post is slowly getting everything ready for import, export. We haven't quite filled all of these up yet, but we will at some point soon. Oh, here comes somebody trying to trade. Wow, these are all broken again. Well, that reminds me, we did get a hot fix today as of recording this video. And one of the fixes that they implemented was that carpentries now have an additional slot for workers. So we're going to build another one over here, partly because we need another carpentry anyway. But now we can go in and we can hire a fourth worker, which is going to hopefully increase the, I don't know what the right word would be, but increase the productivity maybe of both of these things. Yeah. And we'll put a third one up here just for good measure. So where can I stick this? It doesn't quite fit like that, which is unfortunate, but I think we'll be okay. I might actually just stick this right about here. Yeah, because that kind of follows the line here. And then we have this little space back here we can put something in. I don't know, maybe a little parklet, possibly. Line this with some nice bushes. Along the side here and uh, figure out something maybe to stick in here. We'll figure it out. Just kind of randomly place some of these in. Those will look nice when they're all grown up here. So I think a gazebo might be a little too big. Actually, no, maybe not. That could actually be the perfect thing to stick here. Just for a little bit of rest and relaxation. We got birdhouses too. We don't ever really do anything with these. But birdhouses can be a very nice, simple addition. To add a tiny bit of detail. So we'll stick that in the bushes there. We'll stick another one there. And why not put a third one right there? Even though we're never going to see birds go in there, but... That's something. All right, so they've got that gazebo. We can't forget to put in some benches as well. Because we did have some originally, and then I got rid of them. So I'm going to put a bench there and a bench there. And then in the middle, I think we can put a stone well. Yeah, looks like it. We'll stick that right there. And I think we can put... Another one over here, if I can find a good spot that's almost big enough. Not quite. So why don't we just stick another one of these right here? And of course, put some benches on either side. Natural little resting spot there. All right, so that is a big improvement there. Oh, can't forget either we have this field that is... Well, I mean, it's kind of close. 13 trees left. I'm pretty sure they can get this done before the planting season begins. 
And then we also have, well, they can't really use them right now because it's winter time, but these fulling mills should actually be under construction right now. Looks like they are. So we'll double our capacity on this side because we have quite a bit of wool stored up here. Wow, across the whole city we have 18,538 wool. That needs to be spun into broadcloth, and that's not going to happen anytime soon unless we expand our uh, pulling mill capacity. So that is what we're doing here. One here, one here. Uh, we already have three over here. Yeah, we might be able to find room for a fourth, depending on how we uh, end up moving stuff around. But for right now, I think seven should be, well, it's going to be an improvement at least. It's going to take a while for them to get here. So in the meantime, before it gets too crazy, turn on that 12 times speed and let's make this a nice little park area. We're not going to fill this entire thing here to here because that's honestly, it's just a little too big. I might actually leave this open a little bit, but this area right here next to the entrance definitely needs to become something a little bit nicer. So let's take our fence, get ourselves our little corner here. It's going to let me do that. Yeah. So I'll have a couple of entrances here if I can get this to be at least kind of straight ish. Yeah. Put that right there. Take our favorite big arch number two. Never steers us wrong. Pop that guy right there. And then we can either go completely straight up like this, or we can do a little bit of a curve this way, or we can do up here and then curve this way and then cut straight back. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of having this just kind of be its own thing. We've morphed over this way. So if we did that, try to keep things relatively correctly shaped. I think it probably is. Uh, this is about as good as we're going to get. Stick that like that. But that is going to end up looking really nice, I think. I'm going to close it off on this side. I was going to say it's too long. I, I guess this works right here like that. Inaccessible, huh? It's really going to tell me that's inaccessible. Oh, that's not. Okay. Cool. That actually matches reasonably well. We have some trees stuck in here. So let's see. I think we're going to want to put in probably not a church, but a uh, chapel or two pray stations, <laughs> as we've come to call them. Uh, we can put a couple of those in here. A nice smattering of benches, some tree clusters. Make this look real nice, you know? And of course, put some trees along the outside of this. A nice warm welcome to the town right when they come in and then of course easy access to the trading post as well so we've got one fulling mill done since they are doing that i think we should uh oh we can wait until this other one's done now hold up all right i, I need everybody to look at this this barber surgery has the out of money warning now if you paid attention in the past these people have just been absolutely hoarding money. Like, uh, what's the dragon of the Hobbit named? Smog, Smog, whatever. That kind of thing. So why do they not have any money? They have negative. They have negative money. No previous month income. How is that possible? When just before now they had 150 income per month. How about, uh, how about over here? What's going on with this? They also have no income, so let's um let's help them out a little bit, so they can buy some food. Well, these guys already had food, but um, yeah, we'll just uh. Hopefully, they can buy some more of that stuff. So I know this uh, hot fix that we just had today did alter the uh the way that barbers earn money. 
And I think it reduced the amount that citizens will pay for services. So maybe that's why this got completely cleared out. Maybe they just did a hard reset of uh, the wealth system for these guys. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this and see exactly what ended up happening. It's kind of weird. After all of the uh, problems we had before. Yeah, I just want to make sure these guys have some food. They got three kids. So let's, uh, for right now, let's lower the barber tax. It was at 75. So let's take that down. Well, even holding a shift on this takes a long time. We'll put that down to, say, 20. And see how that affects things. I'm sure we're going to end up raising it back again, but we can't have our barbers all go bankrupt all the time. So hopefully it was just a one-time reset of how everything was uh, set up for earnings and barbers aren't completely broken now. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's something that was wrong and will be fixed tomorrow with another hotfix. But we'll figure it out. I guess we'll just be feeding these guys money for a while. All right. Anyway, it is end January. We have eight trees left before this field is usable. I think that means we should be okay come late March, early April. So we should decide what uh, this is going to grow. So up till now, if we look at all of our resources, we actually have a surplus of barley. And still not a lot of wheat, so honestly, it probably needs to be wheat. And we already have two, two fields that are like this. Yeah, I think what we're going to end up doing is having this be a field of wheat starting on uh, the first of two wheat cycles. But of course, I can't tell to do that until the field is actually constructed. So we will worry about that at a later point in time. These guys broke again. Wait, I sure hope people actually, you know, use this thing. And we don't just have a completely broken game mechanic here. The taverns look... Oh yeah, taverns are doing great. 96 the previous month. Yeah, I think... I think we're going to be fine. So, I see the no plot for burial. We got to do something about that. That, of course, is going to be... Look at all these people dying. Stop that. It's very inconvenient having people die. So we'll just stick some more graves in. You know how this goes. I actually don't remember how many there are that need to still be buried. So we're going to have to uh, wait and see. Okay, there we go. That was the last one. So in keeping with tradition, we'll just keep on placing these headstones until I get bored of doing that. These aren't really perfectly aligned, but that's okay. Actually, this is uh, really not very lined up. Oh well, that's what happens. I'm attempting to embrace the non, uh, non lined up lifestyle. It's not, uh, not always going to be super pleasant. Oh, it's not going to let me put this here, is it? Nope. Okay. Well, that's fine. We have another, uh, I don't know, dozen that haven't been filled up. All right. So this is still not done, but there are only five trees left, which is really four. Yeah, that's looking good. Pulling mills are done. So you know what that means. Set that. What is the capacity of this? 5,000? Uh, let's set that to, say, 2,500. And apply that to all. We can store more in the mills and hopefully keep our sheep farms ready for actual sheep feed. Seems to kind of be a little bit of a problem there. All right. So this carpentry is all done done. I should have had this uh, fixed up earlier. Uh, there we go. So our cart shed, yeah, they're repairing. Looking good. Wagon sheds are looking good. Fully staffed. Fully staffed. Uh, we probably should have more people working here, but we don't have enough bodies yet. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We need to definitely add some more housing. I'm kind of reluctant to put housing here because I feel like that's kind of far away. But at the same time, it might be uh, at least 
kind of accurate to put a couple more over here. Because this is kind of a, I guess, for ostrich standards at least, kind of a dense area with a lot of job opportunities and things that will need to be done. So I don't know that it would be completely out of character to put in, say, a row house or two. I'm not going to do three stories, though. That's going to be too much. But if we did, say, something like uh, one of these or a couple of these guys, maybe just two. Regular row house and then one with the store, possibly. Might be, uh, might be a smart thing. Make it a little out of square, just because. Or do I dare put a third one? I think we can get away with that. Wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Just have a little bit there. But we could landscape this, actually. Uh, once this is built... Yeah, I actually might want to uh, have this kind of uh, sectioned off like its own thing. It might not be such a bad idea. We do have um, wells that we built right here and right here, so that would make it easier for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to be nice. All right, middle of April. This field is just about done as soon as they come get this log. So we'll just stare at it until that happens. There we go. All right, so this is all done. Let's pause the game real quick and get this set up the way it's supposed to be. And like that, I believe that's what we want. Let's check our other wheat-based fields. That's starting on flax, that's starting on fallow, and that is... Oh, okay. So that one is... Oh, that's one we just built. Okay, yeah. So we're good. So just come plow this and everything will be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, looking good. So then this stone wall can get built and we have three row houses. We're not going to slow down to have a, a time lapse of that because we have some decorating to do. So I'm going to fill this whole thing up with cotton trees. Cotton wood trees, not cotton trees. There we go. We'll make this look nice as we can. And actually, come to think of it, no, actually, I think this is fine. I was thinking about maybe putting another little arch here for the people that live here, but uh, this really isn't that far to go out of the way. So I think we'll just be able to leave that just like it is. The most painstaking of processes here. Come on. All right, so I don't want to get caught not having room for this guy in the most important spot, so I think... Oh, there's actually just a very small place where this fits anyway, so that is perfect. That whole thing is going to be quite nice. And then we'll do the same over here. Place it one right here first. One right here. If I can find the right spot for it. There we go. And then I think, yeah, for some reason that one was kind of funky. How close can I get here? I don't think I can get three more. So if I move this like so, yeah, that spaces out quite nicely, actually. All right, so that's going to end up looking very nice as soon as that's all done. So then let's get our uh, grid back. I know that's the evil, evil bad thing, the grid. You know what we haven't built yet? We haven't built our Patron of the Arts Monument, which actually might be a perfect thing to put right here. I know we can build more than one. But this would be would be a nice place to put something like that. Just kind of measure this back roughly the center. Right there. Well, center-ish. Would be fine just like that. Actually... There's some stone. Oh, yeah, we need to buy some stone. And we have the space to store it, too. Uh, okay, can't buy that much lime. 
But we definitely need some, so we'll buy that. Uh, okay, clothing, we definitely need to sell 3240. I paused because this is about to be gone in two days. We don't want we don't want to miss that. There's much money that can be made. We need to get our sunflower oil production up as well. Maybe that's something we can address today. I think other than that, we're probably okay. Yeah, get that all taken care of. So we have, now that we have the Patron of the Arts Monument, I still want to put in uh, a chapel or two. But I think we can probably kind of uh, stick some of those maybe here. And then another one rotates slightly that way. Kind of line up a little bit. There we go. Two of those just right there. And then, yeah. Let's get some benches and uh, maybe create a couple of small, I guess, sub-fenced areas kind of around the chapels with some bushes. Spill bushes around the outside first, kind of. Just in case anyone thinks that I am actually know what I'm doing with this, I really don't. I just put stuff down because I think it might look cool. So if you are actually a landscape designer, first of all, I am sorry <laughs> for, uh, for the pain and suffering I've caused you watching these videos, but I just like stuff that looks nice, or in my opinion, looks nice. I realize it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but that's okay. Everybody has different tastes, and you should always do what you would like to do. All right, so they're going to start filling this up, and that's looking, looking good. Of course, we'll have our uh, fence come out in front of this and kind of have this look a little better. So I like the cottonwood trees kind of uh, separating everything here. I think that's a nice, nice thing to do. All right, we still don't have any money here. We're not making any money at all in the barber surgery, really? I think that might be a bug. So uh, I'll fire off a bug report at the end of this episode. I'm sure it's probably something that's already being addressed, but just in case, you should always report stuff, especially in a game that's an alpha, because it is... Uh, Always possible you have a completely unique issue that no one else is dealing with, and that's very helpful information for developers. I love watching these get built. It's just so much fun. And this one, of course, is going to have a store on the bottom so these people can, you know, actually buy food. Kind of an important thing. I was kind of hoping they would finish this while I had this uh, stuck here, but that's fine. I'm going to get rid of this fence here because I feel like that kind of doesn't uh, completely fit, but we can, right here, put in some bushes. Some bushes. Just a little bit of dressing there. It really does not ever get old watching this, does it? One other nice thing I think about having the row houses here is that it does make the city look a little bit more built up to have development so close to the outside. But I didn't want to go crazy, so that's why these aren't three stores. Okay, these are... We're still waiting for hops, really? I guess we need to have another, another hop yard somewhere. Oh, it always scares me when it lags like that. Okay, let's see. What can we sell? Really? That's it? Huh. Well, hopefully over time they'll find some other stuff to uh, actually sell here. Probably should be chicken meat and eggs. 
then some other type of... Oh, dried fruit. Oh, we can buy that now. That's right. We can purchase that from the, uh, the people that live around here. Except I don't think I have any room to actually, uh, actually buy any. We might need a granary somewhere. Do I have a slot here? I don't. None of these have any open slots, do they? They sure don't. None of these have a store, right? Okay. Well. What about you? No. What about you? No, you don't even have a store there. Okay. Hmm. Well, now I am curious. Beef? Sure, why not? There we go. Alright, well that's progress. How are we doing over here? Oh, I love the look of the, the patchwork, look of the fields when you, uh, you get close to them. Alright, so that's looking okay. Harvest is not yet started, I guess. Oh, they're looking for laborers. So why can they... Okay, here they come. Oh, they're all working here, that's why. Oh, because their wage is at 120%. All right, we can't, we don't need that. Yeah, we can, uh, we can, we can go down to 110. I think we're going to be okay. What about this one? Okay, we can leave that one at 120 because it is further away from where most people live. I probably should have been a little less subtle with the curving here, but that's fine. Not perfect, doesn't have to be. They are just about finished with this one. I, I love how these all match up like this. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, see. So I think we can just kind of... Uh, actually, first off, we should probably put in some archways in front of these uh, stairs here. Put one right there. Then put one right there. And then right here we can rotate slightly the correct way. Right there. And then we just join them up with some fence. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And there we go like that. Come on. All right, that looks almost intentional. Oh, look at this. We didn't watch this get built. It's a simple design, but it's nice. I think, do they have all the materials? Yeah. So they just need to uh, get the rest of these stuck in. Little spire there in the center. And there you have it. Looks nice. And it even has the uh, the paving here, so we might actually uh, put a little bit of a pavement going up to it. That actually sounds like that would be quite nice. If I can remember where the pavement... There it is. Okay, now if we come in this way, all the way out to, say, here. Oh, it doesn't let me do that because the area is occupied, huh? But it'll let me do that. So that will look quite nice there. And I think I want to try putting that in throughout this whole area too. Oh, no, that is uh, occupied. Oh, but I can fit that there. That's fine. All right. Hopefully this can kind of mesh here. I know this is in the way. But I figured the main thoroughfare should probably actually be paved. We don't have... Okay, we have 12,000 stone. I guess that kind of counts as enough. So if we just come right up here, let's actually finish the fence first. So I don't want people cutting, cutting the corners here. 
So let's go like that. Like that, and then... Almost. Almost. I guess we can just have this go right into the corner of the building. That's okay. Just like that. Looking nice. Give them some benches as well. Can never have too many benches. I need somewhere for the old people to sit there and yell about kids. Kids these days. An essential part of any public housing project. All right, and have those kind of match up that way. There we go. Put one more on uh, this side. Oh, it's not rotated correctly. I actually need to demolish and rebuild this one because it was slightly too far away. Even though it really doesn't matter. Here we go. And we can landscape the rest of this. Oh, does this bug me though? To have this not a uh, not completely covered. It's not gonna let me do that. Cause the place is occupied. That's too bad. So what we're gonna do here. Oh, I can't do that. I went to the wrong corner. There we go. This is going to be a whole lot of this kind of thing here. Oh, it's occupied. There we go. I appreciate it that it tells you how many stone you're actually going to be consuming to make this thing. Because we're going to be uh, we're going to be using a lot of it. Now, why is it not going all the way over is my uh, my question here. Maybe it just has something to do with the way the thing's generated? I don't know. That like that is going to be nice. Uh, we're also going to want to pave going in. I always want to go to decorations. We need to pave the front of this. Can I actually go all the way uh, past here? Maybe. I'm going to leave a little bit of space open on this side. There we go. And then come in. Can I have this just be straight up? Yeah, there we go. Can I pave inside of this? No. It's worth a shot at least. Well, actually, while we're here, since we have... Nope, that won't work. Yeah, we'll just add a little entrance right there. Yeah, I can get behind this. We're going to be doing a lot more of this as we uh, go about what we uh, need to get done. But for right now, this is a decent start. We're not going to have time to do everything. But little bits do help. I probably should have had this be a different shape, actually. I'm so glad I can just get rid of that. Not have to worry about it. Can't be concave, huh? Alright. Got a word for that. It's called a fun sucker. Too short, huh? Can't be concave. Alright, alright. Oh, but I can do that. That works. So then we'll just keep on keeping on over here. We might end up getting rid of some of these and redoing them. Yeah, so like right here, this needs to be slightly bigger. There we go. Yeah, just kind of following the uh, curvature of the fence there. Making a nice, even road. This corner will cut here. Probably end up putting some sort of a fence here. So that you don't have wagons kind of cutting across. I just love watching them put the stone in. So this doesn't perfectly match, which does... Oh, there it goes. Okay. That actually doesn't look bad. 
these trees are in the way. I gotta do something about that. Uh, but it's almost, it's almost winter time. That's gonna mean everything's gonna be snow. But chapels are done. And there is some other stuff we wanted to put in here. What other kind of trees? We did cottonwoods, uh, pine spruces are nice. Maples are also kind of nice looking. So what if we lined this with some maple trees? Just like that. Too close to another. There we go. Cool. And we can actually, since this is going to be kind of like a park type thing, I wonder how much it's going to let me... Uh... Oh, that's still too short. All right, we'll have to get a little bit further out like this. And I guess we can kind of engineer some sort of a path here. Again, it's not the most beautiful thing ever. But... Should be nice enough. There we go. We'll go right through this. Cool. And that will be a nice little path to go there. Whether they follow that path or not uh, remains to be seen. I'll probably have to put a fence in to get them to actually, you know, respect it. Or actually... No. You know what? No. No, no, no. We've got a monument... That is basically just four doorways. So we uh, we don't need to be like this. <laughs> we should have just done this the whole time. All right. Now I can't uh, do that, but I can. Now I just have to come a little bit further out this way. We will curve it slightly. Actually, I should see how close I can get to this. Oh, it's actually not bad like that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this can either come out of this side. I think it will come out of this side, and then this uh, back side could just be kind of uh, an empty thing. I'm spending all my time drawing pathways. That's fine. We haven't really messed with this feature too much, and I did want to play with it at least a little bit. All right, let's get that up. Oh, it's too... Uh, oh, it's going to let me do it? Okay. All right. There we go. We just have to kind of make a conscious effort to have this thing be somewhat interesting looking. We'll probably also need to uh, come in from this way at least a little bit. Hopefully this ends up lining up right. Again, this is not something I've really done very much with. No, nope, too short. All right. That works. Yeah, this is already not lining up fantastically. Fortunately, there are a lot of, uh, a lot of these that we haven't done yet. Now, will they just completely ignore this and go in a straight line? Yeah, unless we uh, convince them otherwise. They're just going to keep on doing it that way. So we might need to do a little bit of persuading in the way of fences. All right, I think we can do maybe in one... Yeah, we'll have to come out just a tiny bit. Well, that's better than nothing. It's different, at least. It's something. I don't dare put a third one of these, though. All right, so they're in the middle of building all of this. I can't really tell what's what because it's snowing. Well, we'll get it figured out. I should have planted another field. Should have done that. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Have ten 
builds in this farm. This one I have 14. Okay. These are um, a lot of larger fields though, so maybe maybe it is justified to put in another one. Oh, the entrance is here. Why did I do that? Oh, that's not a not ideal. Oh, it's almost, almost. All right, we're going to go laser precision here. Oh, are you serious? All right. Slightly more laser precision. Nope. Do you really need that extra 10 units? Yes. Yes, I do. It's a matter of personal pride. Are you serious? All right. Fifth time's the charm. It's got to get me there, right? Oh, you're joking. Hey, did you see that new JC the Beard video? Yeah, he spent all this time adjusting this field for no reason. Wow, he's insane. All right. So I can't see anything because it's still snowing, but I guess they're working on these now. They, this curved one actually looks kind of nice. They're still going to completely ignore it, so we're going to have to put it in a gonna have to put in a fence here to kind of follow all of this and I can't build oh I can build it there oh, oh. oh no I can't yes yeah, so we'll just go right the way out here The game is performing calculations. I think I much prefer to see that instead of just the screen completely frozen. So that is a nice, nice change. So I think that fence there will do something, hopefully. And we'll do a same similar thing up there. Try to get them to go through the monument. Also, hopefully, it makes it not look completely ridiculous what I've what I've done up here. Well, that's uh, that's something. Something, something, something. All right, let's put this on the... Oh, don't crash on me, please. All right, there we go. Oh, just a little too close. I kind of like the idea of these little fenced walkways here. Is it realistic? No, not really, but I think it looks cool. All right, so that's uh, something there. I think we need to wait for this stonework to be completed before we do too much else on this guy. But, hey, it keeps them on the path. Hey, this looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with that. I, I just wish this would join up. That would have been, uh, been nice. And I can't really build another one of these because it's uh, kind of in the way. I just wish it would let me do that. Too bad. I kind of feel like there's something important I should be doing instead of just babysitting this. Oh yeah, barbers. Yeah, no income. But they still have food. So what's the uh, what's the deal with that? I don't really know. Uh, don't really know how that's working. But we're we're taking money in tax. So let's just get rid of the barber tax altogether, even if they're not making any money. Let's just do that and see what happens.
Actually, that means I can just load them up on money. And then they won't have it all taxed away. Alright, now these pavements are getting finished at breakneck speed. So that means we can start following them with our fence posts. Alright, so there's that fully enclosed. I can't pull back anymore because I'm at the edge of the map. But that is nice. I think these are just a couple stones apiece for, uh, for some of this. Yeah, 15. This one's waiting on 6. It is nice that we have this option for completely paved paths, although putting the fence here is going to guarantee it becomes worn down anyway. But what that does is kind of divides this up into sections. We could actually have... Oh, they're going to want to go through here, aren't they? I wonder if we can get the people to actually... All right, all right, we need... Uh... We need another piece of fence. All right, so that means... Come on, get me out of this. We have to demolish that section of fence and just have this go. Oh, that's so ugly, though. All right. We're going to have to very slightly adjust how this is spaced out. Mmm, I thought I was going to do it the right way, and I didn't. Okay. All righty, let's try this. All right, I, th I think that's better. There we go. Look at that. Did that guy knock before going in? Or did he bow? Or am I just insane? Probably that one. Okay, let's see. What can we sell these fine people here? Oh, we don't have enough of this. Oh, wow, that's right. I was going to build another one of those oil workshop things. Okay, that's doing okay. Oh, we have plenty of lime. That's good. Charcoal. You know what? We'll just buy charcoal. I probably should build some more of those things. I like how this is turning out. Quite nicely, actually. And we have this area over here we could do uh, something with as well, if we can figure out what we want to do. But I think this is a nice thing to have right at the start of the town. Very nice paved roads. And you have a little monument here, Patron of the Arts. Oh, I didn't see the flavor text. This is nice. This monument commemorates your commitment to the long-term prosperity of Ostrov. Let it stand as a testament to your dedication to this land and its future. I like that. That's nice. All right, and I need to build road going across here, and then we need to decide uh, what road we want this uh, caravan of entering people to go down, because I can put a fence here that prevents people from coming up this way. And then that would funnel them in front of these houses, either down here, or yeah, it probably needs to be down here. So we could actually we could accomplish that by putting a fence up here, even though that seems like it might be kind of uh, kind of counterintuitive. But if we put that there, then that would uh, accomplish some of this stuff that we want to get done here. Now, as far as over here is concerned, I think we can put in a nice archway that would make it just inconvenient enough for people to come back, doubling back this way. Say something like uh, right here, perhaps. 
There we go. And then to actually have this come in like so. There we go, just like that. So they're going to want to go near. Oh, they still turn that way. Okay, where are you going? Okay, you're a trade wagon, huh? Well, well, well. We're just going to have to figure out how to make sure you don't do that, aren't we? I hate to just kind of block stuff off because I feel like that's kind of uh, counterintuitive sometimes, but... Sometimes you just have to do things you don't like. Like that. So that blocks this off, which means they'd have to go here and then go all the way around here or through here. We'll see if we get another trade wagon coming in. Yeah, this is... this is. Oh, why do we have food crises? Uh, we should not have this bad of a food crisis. How are we... How are we out of food already? Did our farms just completely fail or what? Okay, no, they're uh, they're looking okay. Why are why are we livestock feed supplies low? Yes, okay. Uh, why is it like this? We don't have that many more people. Hey, we got over a thousand though. Well, now I'm curious because this just came up out of nowhere. How, how is that even remotely possible? We don't have that many livestock that are eating people food. What about their chickens? How are those looking? Oh, they got food. We got a lot of barley. We don't have any, wow, we don't have any buckwheat. We don't have any regular wheat. We got plenty of alcohol. We don't have any of this other stuff. What what gives? Okay, so there's no chickens in that coop. There's 30 here, 30 here. Uh, let's uh, let's fix that. So I've obviously done a poor job monitoring this stuff. We're gonna have to. Uh, wow, what a mess. Okay, what about our bullshed? How how are we uh? How are we looking here? Let's uh, let's just go ahead and slaughter like six of these guys immediately. And then actually I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, send a messenger here and here. These are our two closest towns. Oh, it's June. I can do, I can do these guys. We're going to buy some food because I really, really don't feel like having everyone move out because there's no food. Hopefully our slaughterhouse guys can uh, get to work sooner rather than later because I would not want this to be a uh, cataclysmic event. All right. River Trading Partners, you only have honey. That is not super helpful. Oh, and I can't really buy that much either because I don't have a lot of money so I'll buy 500 beer I'm not going to sell apples I'm not stocking there what am I stocking there none of this stuff huh oh we should be stocking broadcloth though that is a good discovery yeah let's get that going immediately Okay, now they're going to be there for another 28 days. I just How did the food situation get so bad so quickly? I guess I know what we're doing next episode. We're making another stinking farm. All right. Oh, man, they, people aren't really selling any food. Buckwheat? Definitely, definitely buckwheat. Uh, sheep hides. Do I have... I don't have any sheep hides. Okay. Okay, how much buckwheat can I actually buy? Let's go for four... No, I'm not going to have enough for 4,000. Let's do three. 
I wish I had stuff I could sell. I guess when Derkachi gets here, then we'll have uh, we'll have some shoes. It's got to count for something. Okay, I was gonna sell broadcloth. Yes. Uh, four days distance. We're gonna have to wait on that. These guys have no food we can eat. Okay. Uh, horse tack. We can sell some horse tack and get some money. That's that counts for something, right? No potatoes, no flour. So I guess we just caught, caught with our pants down before the harvest. We'll have to uh, have to be a little more careful. But we can sell 4,000 clothing and that will buy us some more food from these other people. We already got some buckwheat. Uh, we have Hirilka. All right. Let's get that fourth messenger in here. Before these people start moving out or it's going to be a big disaster. Taverns can't even function, huh? Man. Well, how can the taverns not function if we actually have the stuff they need? Okay, they're they're getting mead, they're getting Hurlka, they have beer. Yeah, what's the deal? Something has happened to utterly break my food supply. And I guess it's probably not related to the update because we're an hour in to this uh, session. Come on, I gotta be a Durkachi. Okay, no. They're almost there. Come on. Seriously? Okay. Come on. There we go. All right. They have good, 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 good. Let's sell as many shoes as humanly possible, which right now is 4,000 charcoal. I don't even have charcoal. Man. Maybe we just don't have enough laborers. Maybe that's what the problem was. I actually didn't even check to see if, if I lowered the laborer wage. Maybe they didn't even gather all the harvest last year. I didn't even check. Definitely should have checked. Chicken eggs, don't have any of those. Buckwheat, I'm not selling. I just bought it. Oh, good. This stuff is cheap. Yeah, let's buy a bunch of that. Uh, flour is also thankfully cheap. 4,000 flour, that ought to, that ought to get us somewhere at least. Boy, what a mess. What a mess this is, and these poor pigs are going to die too. I can't buy potatoes from anybody though. Can I buy wheat from anybody? No. Can I buy buckwheat? Uh, I think I should have enough buy another... I'm not going to buy 4,000. If I buy another 3,000, I can actually feed some of it to the pigs. Oh, that is a pig feed. Okay. Well, friends, let's hope this doesn't, uh, doesn't result in too many terrible problems. Now, it is the people without gardens, mostly. We're complaining about this. So let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, where are you going? You were a wagon picking something up. So let's follow. I can actually just click follow. So you're going to go... Oh, come on. All right, we're going to have to further disincentivize travel through uh, through this way here. Or maybe we don't need to worry about it. So what? what are they picking up? Will we ever find out? I don't know. It's just freaky how this all happened at once. That's very, very strange. We should have quite a few more of these trade wagons come through. Oh, but this, see, this one's going this way. Oh, pigs are dying of starvation now, huh? Okay. All right. Well, that's the end of the pig experiment. Seems like no matter what, they just always uh, are unable to keep up. And these guys are, uh, why are you slaughtering sheep? You shouldn't be slaughtering sheep. You should be killing all these pigs I had marked for, okay, I guess they killed all the pigs. Okay. Well, at some point soon, maybe we'll have, uh, some sort of food to feed the stinking pigs. All right. 
do you have any food? You have hemp. You have wheat. Okay. Uh, can I? Oh, I can sell horseshoes. That's not much money, but it's got to count for something. Man, we don't even have flax. What's going on? There's a complete breakdown in the supply chain. We don't have any food at all. How? How is that even possible? All right, let's buy some of that. I can't eat hemp, so we're not going to do that, honey. Just buy all of that stuff. It's almost like... Okay, here comes some of the other harvest stuff. It's almost like all the food just got zapped. For no, no reason. So what is... The, what's the deal? He, he should not be going... Okay, I'm turning off sheep for this one. Actually, no, I really, I really should not turn off sheep because there's two of these right here, but I wish they wouldn't go all the way across the map for that. All right, so you're slaughtering a sheep. Now you're going to go home and sleep. This guy's buying food. Meanwhile, the pigs are dying of starvation right behind you and you can't do anything. Okay. I guess I need more slaughterhouses. But I don't have... I don't have enough people working. Man, come on. Alright, go to work. Come in here and come get one of these pigs. They just keep dying. Working. What are you working on? The pigs are dying right here. I'm going to have to redo the pigs again. I swear to God. Okay, good. Do you have a pig? Now you're going to work. You're going to get a cart and you're going to slaughter a pig. There you go. Good job. Yeah, load that pig up in that cart so you can drag it 50 feet down the road. Well, all is not completely lost. Now we actually have the feed for the pigs that's going to go to waste because all the pigs are going to be dead. Ah, the, the joy of raising pigs. And by joy, I mean unbridled rage. Are they actually going to get any of this food here before the rest of the pigs die? It doesn't seem like it. Okay, good. There is actually food here now. And it's a breeding pair. So, uh... Hooray, the pigs aren't all going to be dead. Man, that... Mm, something is just not... Uh, not going these people's way. Although the food problems do seem to be kind of subsiding. Very slowly. All right, well, at the very least, this does look kind of nice-ish. Not perfect, but that's fine. So to distract ourselves from the debacle of food supply, let's put a couple of uh, these bench clusters here. Just copy that to get my angle back again. There we go. Put that one there. There we go. And one more like that. I think we'll put another one right here in the center. Actually, line up this middle one first. That should be decent. Good enough there. All right, so we have three of those, just kind of chilling. Plant some uh, some bushes, perhaps lilac bushes, in between. Let's kind of extend that out, just a little bit. Yeah, it's not the worst thing ever, and this shouldn't get enough traffic to kind of wear stuff down either. It should stay nice and green. Yeah, okay, food problems do seem to be resolving themselves, mostly. We can always sell some shoes to these guys. Apples, we don't have enough to even eat, but I guess we'll just go ahead and sell these anyway because, well, they're 
here. Now, how are we looking on our hop situation? We're always, uh, I don't know. We actually have some. How much do we have stored up? 894. We could probably use another hop yard. Probably. Okay, I don't want these coming up this way. I really don't. So I don't think it's uh, completely unreasonable to have this uh, fence put in here. That should hopefully prevent that. Then hopefully, uh, is this a trade wagon or is that one of ours? Okay, that's one of ours. I just want them to go this way. If at all possible. I think at the uh, end of this, we can put in a couple of wells. That might be a smart idea. This one, no, it's going to be too big. I can remember which key rotates which way. There we go. Just stick that guy right there. Put in a couple of benches. There we go. That's an improvement for them. I guess we can just kind of do that in all these uh, dead ends here. And right there on the back side. You know the drill by this point. Mmm, it doesn't fit. Well, that's fine. We'll just leave that there and landscape it with some lovely bushes. Because that's how you cover up your mistakes. With landscaping. That's the power of intentional design. Alright, what other... Uh, Oh, it's just those three, right? Okay. Alright, so that is some sort of progress there. This is looking okay. Although, if we're being honest, I should have... Uh, I should have probably just built, uh, built this here and had this be something else. Because now this is kind of hokey right here. Yeah, I should have should have just done that. Cause there's really no reason for these people to come straight through here, is there? I don't think so. All right. So we'll just uh, one of these and pretend like we never ever had this in here in the first place. And then we'll cover this up with a stone well. Well, cover it up is not the correct terminology, but you get what I'm saying. Some benches here, benches here. There we go, so now they're forced to go all the way down here. Just like we wanted the whole time, which also means we didn't need to have this here, but uh, that'll be fine. They can still come down this way, and this is toward the market anyway. All right, so that, that is an improvement, mostly. All right, this is looking pretty nice. Yeah, no complaints there. All right, well, here I, here I was thinking earlier today, oh, I should really try to make these Oscar videos shorter because people are saying they're getting a little boring, but yeah. <laughs> and then here we are at an hour and nine minutes. Well, friends. I still think this is a pretty decent amount of progress. We do have a lot more work to do here with regard to actually finishing the road. I do want to pave this all the way through here and then down this way. It's all eventually going to be paved. We'll put some trees and some other decorations, but that's going to have to be next time because we are well and truly out of time. Aside from that weird food panic we had, I think stuff is going well. Have over a thousand residents. Fields seem to be harvested and planted pretty well. At the end of the uh, harvest season, we have, well, we have some food left over, which I guess has to count for something. 
we need vastly more more fishing going on. But we do have uh, we do have some amount of food. It's not a ton. So I guess next episode will be fixing all of our food problems or attempting to bolster them at least. I think it's definitely time for another farm. I don't know if I want to put one here or not. Might actually be a better spot over here, but there's just so many trees. Kind of the uh, kind of the problem there. We need to have one farm that I'm pretty sure is just going to be potatoes and buckwheat all day long. You never have too many of those. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. As always, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, just want to say hi, want to roast me for uh, getting into an enormous food crisis with a thousand people in the town, or for building impassable stupid walls for the sake of forcing trade wagons to go down a certain street. I welcome all of that in the comment section down below. I do read every single one. Can't always respond to all of them, but I do take the time to read them all, and I really appreciate you being here, even if you don't comment. So whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, I hope you have fun and stay safe, and I hope you'll come back and join us again tomorrow for more Timberborn, and then later, of course, for more Ostrov, and even more Timberborn, and hopefully at least one live stream this weekend. But yeah, thanks for being here. Have fun, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.